I mean, the only other project right now that I've seen that has like a large amount of uh, just people pushing it, and that's because they've got the budget to really hire all these influencers and stuff. But this is the Izu uh, project that is going to be. So this is going to be the first ETH launch pad on Magic Eden. It's by the psychedelic uh, psychedelics anonymous people that have done like they've done a bunch of collections now. Um, but yeah. yeah, so this is going to be a I, you'll be able to mint this using Ethereum or Solana on Magic Eden launch pad. So this is kind of an interesting um, project because it's by a large creator. Um, and it is cross chain as far as I can tell. Now, I'm very, I, I don't know anything about this project going into this. So I'm just kind of looking at their website for the first time. It's very uh, vague. We have always been with you. We are timeless. We are life. We are fluid. We are fluorescent. We are forest. We are flame. Okay. Uh, cool. Different factions, it looks like. You have earth liquid this reminds me so much of the bull market mints you know and i guess you know that psychedelic anonymous crew. right where the, everyone that tried guy. so hard well kind of yeah and everything was super vague and weird like there's actual oh. websites to look at and yeah, stuff that's it's there's not... a website but it's very vague and weird though you know it's like these factions like this just reminds me of the, a lot of the 3d art projects we had during the bull yeah market. they're always like oh yeah you have all these different, different okay yeah. so yeah. So what? What does uh, this do again? That's what, what is, I'm what trying is, to figure is, out. That's what, what I'm trying to figure why? out right now. I why know why. Do yeah. this? Why, why is, make this? I think this will be their eighth collection, by the way. Really? Dude, those guys have been. Man. Those guys are. See, Freeman, people who just make NFT projects are out there. They exist. They exist. Oh, well, yeah. What do you mean they there's exist. people that just make NFT I'm projects? I'm saying that That's we should be making NFT our own founder. NFT projects. Like a lot of yeah. them. Well, these are all connected, I, though. These are all one project. That, that's cool. They're that's all cool. So part what, what of are these, one what is, But what does this do? What does this one do? I have no idea. No idea. That's what, I, I'm telling you, this is the first time I've seen this oh. website. I don't know. I don't know anything about this project. This is our project review, bro. Um, so the team, uh, yeah, Voltura, who is the uh, guy who founded um, Psychedelics Anonymous, uh he's australian okay yes anyway um they've got a team bro yeah where's the roadmap though right that's kind of what i'm looking for what this just this seems mean? like dude it's they so know the psychonaut like they have like cool events and stuff yeah. right yeah. but what other right. stuff what what other does stuff does the project do is that i heard it right yeah, I just heard one time in a space, like the, a, a bunch of the, one of the holders was just like, "Yeah, man, we just take drugs and party." I'm like, "Yeah, okay, cool." But what does this do? Is, I mean, uh, is this part of it? I don't know. It's like, look at this. This is a path of uniting stories, path of connectivity, overture into deeper relationships, dissolving separation, embracing change, encouraging freedom, finding unity and liberation. We believe ownership is more than just possession. It's an occurrence of yesterday that holds a taste of tomorrow, an opportunity for choice, a chance to reinvent. Everything flows. Nothing stands still. Adapt, change, evolve, create, own your future. We are forever bound to this and to you. Welcome to tomorrow. <laughs> what does all that mean? Sounds like some hippie shit, damn it. <laughs> what does all this mean? So that's it, dude. I don't see anything about what this is. Damn. See, this is, again, this is like uh, so many projects we re reviewed in the past where it's like from someone who is not familiar with the community already, like I'm not in the Psychedelics Anonymous community already. How right. do I understand what you're doing? Right. Like if you want to bring new people into your community, how are you doing that? Um, and maybe, you know, like for Solana people that have never minted an ETH mint, maybe, you know, and they're trying to be cross chain. How are Solana people supposed to understand what's going on here at all? Um, you know, just that they know it's connected to this. Uh, yeah, look at these. These are all the different collections they've done. Genesis collection, IRL pass, the metaverse pass, component number two, component number three, psilocybin, and then PAP. These are all different collections mm -hmm. that are part of the Psychedelics Anonymous uh, mm -hmm. ecosystem here. You have to have components and it's... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's going on with all that. I mean, kind of. Yeah, I mean, you have to like essentially be really deep into the psychedelics anonymous thing 
to understand how all these are connected. It feels like it feels like it just an inside like club. That's why I'm confused. And I think the, the collection size for Izu, I think is quite large. If I'm remembering correctly, let's see who does it say, maybe I saw it on magic. Eden. Is this their, is there, is this their like first like bridge into the Solana ecosystem? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be more. It's gonna be on both. I think the NFTs yeah. look pretty cool. Like they look decent. Yeah, I mean yeah. these are cool. Um, yeah, they they're good 3D artwork. I think that's just the question though is just what is this, right? What is this going to be? Um, an, let me see. Did Magic even have a better it's description? Just, dude, it's just a shit token <laughs> with a JPEG. Is what it is. <sighs> I know. Well, I'm I'm glad you're saying that because their their community is super like hyperactive about defending them. So th that's kind of why I brought this project up. I was hoping we get some juicy punching action from you, and then uh, we can have them all come here and defend it. Hey, I if there is actually a community, it's anything you know, the psychedelics anonymous, like that that sounds that's, like a community I would probably be in. So you're like it's, before it's, you attack me, I'm yeah before I'm before you attack me. Okay, so here we go. Here's here's Ethereum or Magic Eden's description. First ever cross-chain mintable Ethereum NFT collection to launch on Magic Eden's 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 launchpad. Sister project of Psychedelics Anonymous, available to mint in Solar ETH. Oh, supply and mint date are both unknown. Actually, uh, that's it. Really? Um. Oh wait. Okay. Dude, Psychedelics Anonymous traded over thirty nine thousand ETH uh, since December. Let's see, dude. Um, Izu will redefine the relationship between brands and consumers. The first to earn economy rewarding consumers for wearing products with NFC chips tied to smart contracts with AR capabilities. Similar to Psychedelics mm. Anonymous, all owners of Izu will receive mental health therapy. Oh, this is like sounding very not okay, Bears. Uh, coaching, educational resources, and crisis support provided by a third party for free as part of Voltura Labs' charitable mission to those who suffer from mental health illness. Izu will release its roadmap later this week during a live event on Twitter. Okay, so we don't know what this is. AKA, we have no idea what this is. And this was written a while ago, so this should have been an announced already, this uh, roadmap. And so, so it's on it their Twitter, like there's going to be chips and clothing, crazy. is that it? They're putting I, that's like, what I, yeah. I just, why would you put chips in clothing? Like that sounds sketch balls to me, dude. Be like, I, I'm already tracked enough with my damn phone. <laughs> Got to like, make sure everything's turned off on that shit. Like, why do I turn off your shirt? Oh god! Like, can I, I turn off the GPS chip on my shirt? Just getting uh, notifications. Your shirt alerted to us that you're near. <laughs> Well, some other it, shirts i don't know what the fuck is the purpose of this like why would you do the this? roadmap is on the twitter they should um they should pin it or something if it is here i don't know if they've released the roadmap or not like that magic eden post says but um if they do oh wait here's a pin tweet okay maybe this is it okay one second i'll calm down um this is all the same thing chill uh, your boots so they're talking about the nfc tied wearables stuff that's in testing. They'll provide demos. They're using PsyCoin. This is their, I think, yep, Psychedelic Anonymous token, ERC20 yeah. token. They have a token, yeah. too. They do, yes. Um, uh, let's see. So they're probably going to sell you NFC-like stuff with their token or something. You know, like you'll buy it with the token. Is this just a really, like, elaborate merch drop? Is that what we're seeing? It's just NFC merch? Kind of. Sounds like it. Um, let's see. I the roadmap just... will be unveiled live on a Twitter space. Well, okay. Uh, we need... Okay, cool. Where's the... Okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's... And you could... So Josh said he thinks the chips are for the AR stuff, which could be true. I think you can still do AR stuff without... Uh, any oh, chips like you could so do it with the image recognition kind of type stuff, you know? It's like, yeah, it did say it, something about AR with the chips, mm -hmm. um, yeah. And and so may, maybe you know, there's there's all kinds of weird, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, wear products using NFC chips tied to smart contracts with AR capabilities. 
So wearable, right. wearables with NFC chips tied to smart contracts. So that would, I'm guessing, say you're the owner or something, essentially, of right. this wearable, which is interesting. And then may, maybe an AR, it makes you look like your avatar or something like that. Makes you, you look know? better. Yeah. As long as it makes me look <laughs> it makes better. Makes you look better. <laughs> yeah. The shirt fits you better than you wear it. In yeah. AR? Wow. Yeah, it gets it all so cake. nice looking in AR. Yeah, and it makes you look a little stronger. Yeah, a little bit like more cool. Table. Look yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, this is, uh, it's interesting. Uh, Josh, if you know more about the project, let us know in the Discord. But I know that just people are, I mean, this is obviously being pushed by a lot of influencers and Psychedelic Anonymous yeah. has resources well, and everything to do this. This stuff. actually kind of touches on an idea I was thinking about. I think we may have actually talked about it uh, a few epis, you know, way back. But um, it's kind of like, you know, I wonder if, they'll ever be you know it's like these filters that everyone uses on their phones right there's all kinds of different filters photo filters out there um i wonder how valuable a filter like that would be if you were just like hey you know the only way you get um uh one of these you know this filter that we we've made whatever the filter is you know some butterflies or some shit flying around (laughs) you is to own this nft you know what I mean? Sounds like literal hell. What you're describing <laughs> sounds like a little like Instagram, but he- Freeman, even more hellish. We are in that. I don't <laughs> yeah. know where I don't know where you've been living, but well, we are there. Yeah. Like we are like, well this, there. So like, just we Instagram are way... filters, but that are NFTs. Further there. Yeah. So it's like basically you're you're um. basically paying a pre- for a premium filter, you know, but and it's only selective to only people who hold that NFT can actually have use that filter. Yeah, it's I'm just saying that that is what I think brings like, hope, you know, I, these yeah. kind of, this, this is what kind of reminds me of that is that it's like, Oh, you can only have the NFT. You can only be the only one to wear this shirt and experience this augmented reality fucking thing. Our projects and like you could this, share it on your Instagram. Is this like a double, is this the NFT version of a double top essentially where it's like, um, we are now, it's like, this is the, a no. project this big that this is the number one project the roadmap We're is way non-existent. beyond double top. The roadmap is non-existent, and the utility is essentially almost is super vague and not really that useful. And this is the biggest upcoming mint, uh, besides yeah. You. Well, dude, it oh, just sucks, dude. Yeah. And all these NFTs suck. I just gotta say, I'm not. Yeah, well, that's why I'm just like this. Looks just like a lot of the 3d nfts that we did not rate very well like during the bull market we would have just laughed at this project and just been like oh they're they're following is botted this is uh there's no roadmap <laughs> you know we would have just no, been like, it's, it's by sec no, you know they I have know. a huge yeah, membership know. we would have gave this one probably the, high gms yeah. Just maybe, get a high gm it would have gotten maybe it probably wouldn't have gotten that high because really there's no roadmap uh, true, no roadmap. You know, and the history. utility is basically nothing. Maybe some AR shirts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this see, is reminds that, me of a crappy you, NFT. Like, yeah. the, the bull market, like the NFTs it's in the bull market cool. were just like, whatever. I I mean, I I like the, the physical part that that's, you know, a physical item with the yeah. NFTs, cool and all. But it's just like, I am not... Um, it's just amazing uh, that this is... I'm like, I don't know, a, a T-shirt... Thing. That could be augmented in a VR is like okay, or you know, I'm sorry, in, uh, in um, augmented reality. Another question uh, is: Do you get that. like? Can you, you go to the psychedelics anonymous parties if you have one of these? That's one question because maybe that's part of the utility. Maybe you can now be part of the parties or whatever that they have. When Burning Man NFT? When do we get the Burning Man NFT? When's that coming? Oh yeah, man. That'd be fun. I've been it's on my bucket list. Go to Burning Man. I mean, isn't that kind of what psychedelics and oh well actually no, my bad. See, this is that their holders are gonna just I hope they come and just like just comment. This is where engagement farming the the big <laughs> uh projects right now because there's nothing left to 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 milk. But uh I hope they all come and they're like, No, the mental health stuff and this is this project is oh, yeah, it comes lives. Up with mental health and, stuff, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So We've we'll seen Not Okay Bear try to do that one, yeah. and it worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> don't get me, don't get me fired up, bro. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's the big project. I just wanted to show Matt that get his opinion. 
I think so. it's just too easy. I want to see actually like something. It's easy, to, you. you know. Well, like the the whole mental health thing. I would rather see, like, anyways. I'm not gonna, I, to I'm me. Gonna go I, I wrote a tweet saying that more and more when projects have mental health stuff as one of their core utilities, it's more and more a red flag to me because it seems a lot of times it's the sketchiest projects that then use that as their bolt on uh, utility. Um, and as a way to combat FUD that says that they have a toxic community or whatever, it's like, no, we're about mental health. And it's like, how can you then say that when they ha- give you free counseling and stuff? It's like, I mean, it's, it's, it could be right. Well, let's think about that. I mean, this is psychedelics anonymous. I mean, the name says, says it in the name says it all. Right. So it's, it's a group of people who like to, you know, trip balls once in a while which is i'm all 100 percent for it i partake in it i support it love it do it blah 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 have a cool group for it i i i, I in the past i thought about getting nft i never i recently i haven't thought about getting really any nft so but you know the seems like a, a pretty dope project i do see how like having that kind of project could get you a lot of people saying well that's just a project that, that's just like endorsed and you know just trying just a group of people tripping balls all the time you know and that can have a negative outlook but yeah maybe it's like the whole thing of like mental health is just their way of saying look we're trying to we have we have kind of a, a more healthy you know although i would say that psychedelics is you know great for anti-depression and all this other stuff blah 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 but you know that that's i'm just interested i don't know it, it is kind of weird i don't like th- maybe it would have been interesting if it's like oh yeah this goes to like uh ketamine therapy or something more specific to like mm. psycho uh psychedelic therapy you know mm. like th- hey yeah we'll send people to trips to go do ayahuasca trips and stuff like that they in might, rainforest they might kind of do stuff like that i mean like look at this so good a new initiative to help spread the awareness of psychedelic assisted therapy and treatments will be purchasing tickets to psychedelic medicine related conferences and events and gifting them to our holders. So okay. maybe kind something of. like that. Something I mean, like it's, that. it's yeah. interesting. It's a, I mean, they got a lot of, they got a shitload of money, you know, I mean, that's for sure. They put on the, just an event in New York yeah. city with magic Eden just recently. They're, um, they're obviously killing it. They've launched and sold out like eight projects. So, um, and this one will obviously probably mint out as well. But uh, yes, I think that, um, you know, it's just interesting though. Uh, what is, uh, what's the talk of the town right now? And to try to figure these things out and to, you know, I mean, this is essentially us DYORing um, live and uh, yeah. you know, it's it, it's i'm getting flashbacks to when last year uh, or even earlier this year when there was a lot of these these nft projects that launched that had very vague websites um and very vague uh kind of promises and probably are gonna i mean how much you think this is gonna mint for i mean Probably more, I don't know, pricier than what we've definitely yeah. seen for a lot of projects. Probably, I'm, yeah, I'm assuming pricier than most projects. Yeah, so yeah, maybe maybe a, a point one mm-hmm. five something like that. Yeah, yeah, that would be my guess too. Which is probably a pricey AF mint for coming from Soul, like for Soul people. You know, Soul people are used to like you know three <laughs> three Soul is expensive a, a yeah. mint for Solana people. You know. So yeah. this is where it's in, going to be interesting to try to bridge the gap. Maybe it'll be surprisingly cheaper than than we expect. Maybe you'll see a a point zero nine or eight mm. or something. No, it's, so. maybe maybe there'll be a, a zero niner in there or something. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, I it, yeah it. <sighs> It's hard for me to get like too stoked about uh, any NFT projects. I, the T-shirt, the mental health stuff for this one is kind of like, eh. But eh, I, yeah. I, I would probably, I, I'd maybe find like maybe more value in actually just holding, you know, like what's what's the psychedelics anonymous floor right now? Oh, that's a great question here. Uh, let's see. Well, which project? The main one? Yeah. 
let's go let's go check out their main project those masks right the, yeah like... the agenis is that the genesis i'm guessing i assume yeah yeah that's these ones uh 0.69 is the floor that's not that bad i would wonder and, like uh, like if five. you just wanted to join this community probably getting a genesis would be like oh yeah it's at an all-time first... low pretty much yeah so but, i wonder yeah. if it's if it's like um I I don't know. I to me, I look at this project and it's like it, it, maybe it's val more valuable for people that own one Perhaps, of these NFTs yeah. already that's in in it. But if you're looking to get into the psychedelics anonymous, I don't know if this is your project to do that with. Like it, I think it would probably be much more valuable to own a Genesis version, and yeah. they're not that. I mean, they are pricey. So, uh, yeah, and I have heard that uh, actually they're trying to encourage. Actually, the, you're you're jogging my memory because I heard uh, some people from this community talking about the new project and how actually they're trying to to encourage new people to get into their ecosystem. They're trying to expand their ecosystem. So, in order for a, a Genesis holder to actually get whitelisted for the Izu, you have to like. Uh, it's like I think you have to own. I I'm, I could be wrong here, but I think what they said was you have to own like all the existing nfts or something like that mm. from all yeah because the they're products. just wanting new people in i get it yeah. and i don't know if they're going to be able to do that and yeah. this right yeah because it's kind of like i don't um they're it, definitely trying to get a solana market. liquidity too i mean they they see the right. oh yeah we can That's get some of those part. solana people over. bridging over there yeah. and i guess with that the mint better be pretty damn cheap man like to really they're wanting be. to get new people yeah. in yeah, maybe it'll maybe, be a maybe, higher maybe. number of tokens, but a lower. I mean, price. shit. These days, 0 0.02 ETH is a high mint. So fuck, <laughs> you could, you could, uh, you, yeah, that'd be pretty. Uh, good. I yeah, mean, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. I think you know they're probably gonna they they haven't announced their you know their uh, supply and everything. They're probably waiting to see what happens with Utes and how much like liquidity comes into the market from Utes uh, selling. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So many of these on the yeah, floor right. here. Last sale, 3.9. Right. They're all selling for like 0.7 now, right? And it's like the last sale, 2.3 ETH, 3.90, 2.80. On which ones? 2.2. .2. Oh, the Psychedelics Genesis. Oh, really? Interesting. 2 ETH. Oh, yeah. A lot of these got got in like when it was over mm. an ETH, and now they're just mm. desperately they're trying paper to get, handing out. Get yeah. the fuck out. Well, yep. yeah, four point five ETH. Ouch. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Bought at four point five ETH. Yeah, dude. The market was raging. I wonder what these minted for. Actually, I guess I could pretty much if I had looked at that floor price. It, I they minted for more than I think what they're at now. Um, from what I could tell, I mean they're at an all time low. So I well, we covered it. Do you remember? When we oh, covered dude. I think so. Launch? Yeah. And like one of our, it was like yeah Maybe. we. Yeah, because it was, um, actually it was right. The launch was right before our show started, actually, January. But we definitely were looking at these. I remember looking at these and talking about them probably. Mm. I mean, they've had now seven or eight collections. So we've probably talked about their follow up collections before. Interesting. I thought we did cover them. But, you know, these might have minted around an ETH because the first listings were for 1.3 ish. They were selling. For a little above an ETH, so these might have minted for like an ETH, dude. I don't know. Uh, That's crazy. I don't know. You know, what if there was just one as like? Did they promise like any psychedelics? Like, what? Where's where's the one where that I could get some shrooms? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, where's the where's the where's the utility of like? Hey, yeah, you buy this NFT. We'll send um, you some LSD. I think that's just like uh, Silk Road or whatever they called that. I think you're just looking for the uh, the uh, the websites where you just. Where's the really that. good utility like that? Like, where can I find those NFTs? I at? think that that's isn't the that the utility. original? Isn't that the OG use of Bitcoin? Isn't that it's what almost it like originally just used for? <laughs> like you, you essentially. I'm just trying to think of how you can't uh, or how, how you find out. So it's like, okay, if you were to launch this NFT project like this, okay, oh. you're like, hey, buy an NFT, you'll get sent, I don't know, an eighth of shrooms or something. And in it, right, it's all got to be anonymous, right? So it's like some something where you send, you'd have to send your address somewhere so that 
they know where to send. The yeah, shows. I mean, you're not. Yeah, you're not. You, you, it's yeah, yeah. I'm trying to you figure know. out how to do this, Freeman. <laughs> if you're not catching my drift here, you gotta try to figure this out. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna feed your. I'm not. I have an idea your, for your, an NFT project. Your public everyone. illegal uh, plan. I have an idea. It's the yeah. real psychedelic. Oh, oh, yeah, I've heard that. Apparently, yeah, the events. It's like everybody is obviously, uh, yeah, yeah, on, yeah. On drugs. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure if you went to the events, you wouldn't have a hard time finding someone. Yeah, you get limited sure. edition merch. But if I go to any cl- nightclub, I could find someone. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, that's very true. That's very true. Thank you for watching GMTV.